Hi everyone, Trashfellow here and today I'm about to review again another great Blu-ray edition of the label Subculture Entertainment. And the movie I'm talking about is uh, called Scanners by David Kronberg, who is formerly known for movies like The Fly and this one, which is one of his most popular movies. And this edition has been sent to me as well from Subculture Entertainment, so thank you very much for sending me over this edition. Um, there does also exist another edition that includes um, the DVD version and the Blu-ray version that is limited to a thousand copies and numbered. So if you're a big fan of limited editions, um, you should get that one. Uh, but if you just want to have the movie, um, yeah, the Blu-ray is totally okay. I'm very, very um, happy with this Blu-ray. Um, it has a reversible cover. Um, opening this up, you can see just a disc here inside. And uh, sadly no booklet, nothing inside. But um, yeah, tons of extras we do have here. Um, the Blu-ray is uncut. We do have German and English language. It is region B and uh, the extras are um, audio commentary, uh, trailer, um, galleries and an interview. Talking a little bit about Scanners. Well, Scanners uh, has been released in 1981 and uh, was actually another uh, one of David Kronberg's uh, Body in Revolution films. Um, really, really loved uh, his films such as The Fly, where this uh, body transformation stands in the, uh, the foreground of the movie. And uh, yeah, this movie is uh, pretty similar um, to uh, The Fly. It also does deal with the uh, development here um, of uh, the main character. The movie deals with uh, people that actually have uh, telepathic and uh, telekinetic abilities. So, uh, not your average horror film because it's quite heady. Um, that's what I like about Kronberg. Uh, not only uh, does he make great psychological horror thrillers, but he makes you think, so uh, nothing is spoon-feed to you. Um, the splatter effects have given this movie its much-deserved place in one of the best horror set pieces ever made. Um, two scenes uh, actually stand out the most. After watching this film you'll understand why um, actually gore hounds love this movie. Um, as everyone and uh, their dog knows, this film is always talked about for the infamous scene near the uh, start where we are uh, first shown the power of uh, scanners. However, there are many scenes across the whole film that um, are just as strong as that one. The opening scene is powerful as it shows the ability Veil which is the main character, has and uh, the lack of control he has over it, while the scene where Revok escapes um, capture his even more sinister and gripping. This pretty much carries across the whole film, although there are some slow spots and parts of the story that don't hang together um, as well as they uh, should. But uh, Kronberg is famous for his body horror, but he uh, does do tension well and here is a solid uh, when called upon. Uh, the low budget does show through at times but uh, mostly it is good. Overall, uh, though this is a classic cult film, the plot uh, moves forward well enough. Um, although I would have liked more real-life commentary from Kronberg above the uh, general uh, mental illness metaphor that is act as uh, but uh, his direction otherwise is good. The cast are almost only okay but they do enough to keep the story moving while moments of horror and tension are well served up. Could have been better in several key areas but is still worth seeing. 
Um, so all in all, I do have to say that uh, this movie is worth watching it if you haven't seen it before. Um, it is a classic. It is of course uh, well known because of that, uh, yeah, head blowing up scene. The Blu-ray transfer actually does look very very great. Um, I think that uh, Subculture Entertainment did a very very great job on uh, releasing this. I'm very very glad that they uh, released it. I think that the label is um, slowly but effectively uh, growing up and um, they do deserve it. I heard that uh, there's also a Hardbox edition coming out for this uh, movie in April which is also done by Subculture Entertainment, so I'm probably uh, going to get that as well. So, I think that is it basically it for today. Um, if you want to buy the uh, Scanners uh, Limited Edition or the single Blu-ray, I will leave both links here down below. Uh, there are actually Amazon links and um, if you want to buy uh, these editions, please click on them. Um, would much appreciate that because I'm actually now an Amazon partner and uh, if you buy this edition I will get 5% yeah it would be great appreciation um, great support to my channel so that I can show more editions uh, because yeah most editions are very very expensive and to be honest uh, I'm not a millionaire <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that is basically it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review as much as I did. And as usual, hope to see you all next time.